The most recent draft of the new apostolic constitution on the curious organization is being studied in depth from both a canonical and stylistic perspective. It's likely to be subject to a new revision by the cardinals. This was explained by the Secretary of the Council of Cardinals, Marcelo Semeraro. He explained it during the magisterial lecture at the Pontifical Lateran University in Rome in November. It is foreseeable that after the text has been delivered, another round of consultations will take place discussing what the Council of Cardinals is proposing. The same thing happened when the apostolic constitution passed the bonus. The new constitution has a provisional name, Preach the Gospel. It's an important update to the norm regulating the curious function and some aspects of the governance of the church. The previous version is the Pastor Bonus Constitution, written 30 years ago by John Paul II. Marcello Semeraro said this new constitution tries to adapt the missionary spirit that Francis proposed from the beginning of his pontificate, a church field hospital that would gather the wounded caused by a troubled era. Este cambio de época, lo comentaba ayer con los obispos brasileños, está lleno de heridos. Gente que dejó la iglesia por la mitad, que se fue, que volvió, que... Y cada uno puede pensar, bueno, vamos a hacer un curso, que esto, que aquello. Ya, después de una batalla, lo primero que hay que hacer en un hospital de campaña es curar las heridas. The Constitution will seek to reflect several key aspects of the Second Vatican Council, avoiding excessive centralism and rediscovering the role of the laity. Monsignor Semeraro recalled that the appointment of a layperson as prefect of the Secretariat for Communication was no coincidence. It is not an improvised decision. What's more, it has been thought out with the help of people who are competent in legal and theological matters. The next meeting of the Council of Cardinals will be December 10th through the 12th. In addition to the revision of the Constitution, another topic up for discussion is the renewal of some of its members, who are already over 75 years old.